We're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. He's C, and I'm Joel. Just Joel. And this time, we've got everyday tools from we. Savivi. Dimco knives. knives. We're going to start with the dessert first. Creme de la creme. No piece de resistance. No, it is. Yep. The Andrew Dimco AD 20.5 with Shark Lock. I think it was better the second time around. I think so. <laughs> yep. So we're going to have two different versions here with us. We have the Clip Point and the Shark Foot, both in the blackout. Though there are other DLC finish and plain stone wash versions as well, both in black and orange. So both feature the 3-inch Austin A steel blade with jimping and dual-sided thumb studs for opening. They got the black DLC finish, of course. Handle is black grivery with steel liners, liner hole, and tip-up stainless pocket clip. 7-inch overall, this folder has caged bearings. Comes with pouch, patch, and Demko's new patented shark lock. Oh, I gotta get the pouch here. Alright, here's the pouch, there's the patch. It also has a cleaning cloth, Demko's name. Ooh. This one is the DLC finish clip point. Okay, so there it is. And this one here. Hold on, hold oh. on. Jeez, I want to demonstrate the one hand opening, and you're like, let's move on, let's move on. Okay. And this was the DLC finish shark foot or sheep's foot hold on wow yeah i know i did a better impression. wow i did a better i'm sorry wow. i know i know <sighs> start over give us demonstration here guys so the shark lock mechanism is situated on the spine of the knife you can operate it with this thumb ramp like fin as it were so right there that disengages it so opening the blade whoops sorry opening the blade makes the spring driven lock arm move up and then notch into the tang beneath the lock pin so due to the movement of the locking mechanism this allows for greater size blade tang another plus to this new lock type is because the drive spring that moves the locking element up and down and into the lock position is within the lock arm itself, it will not be subjected to dirt or grime. I mean, you know how sometimes, you know, you drop your knife or, you know, you leave it somewhere like in a drawer or on the bench, it will get dirt into the locking section. And this, because of how it is arranged, it will keep the knife working properly and awesome. I mean, come on. No problem with that. Locking system allows for easy, well, it was easy, one hand. I don't like having to demonstrate this. It, it worked better in practice. Easy one hand opening. I could probably do it again. There we go. Opening and closing. Tested to 875 inch pounds of torque. Impressive for a 3.5 ounce knife. Snag your own Demco. 20.5 with Shark Lock from Atlantknife.com for only $149.99. There it is. Amazing price for Demco, if you ask me. Now, I know what I said about the Scorpion Lock. Did you see that? I'm not, I'm just playing with it and it just did just fine. I know what I said, I didn't like the Scorpion Lock. It's a little gimmicky for me, much like the Glide Lock CRKD did on the Psych Knife. But I, that doesn't mean I dislike the design. I like the Scorpion Lock Knife and I like the Psych from CRKT. However, I will say that I like this. I like the shark lock. I like how it, that due to its placement, there won't be any type of, you know, lock engagement issues. Great design, great lock, great price. See? Well, you've sold, you've got me sold with this knife. <laughs> I had it earlier where you could just flip it Was and that the lock one? it. Yeah, but yeah, I miss, I miss you know that. how it is. Yeah. There you go. So you got it that way. And then you just flip it out. You get used to it. You gotta get used to pulling the lock back. So I like it. Hopefully we'll get some more of them. Order a bunch more. Should Hopefully. be here soon. So mm. I guess we'll move on to the next knife, the Wee Curvaceous. Wow. Yeah. Comes in three options. Green micarta with titanium. Jewel J G10 with titanium. And a carbon fiber, and I bet you can't guess, with titanium. Yeah. We got the jewel jade one here, of course, Obviously. to show you. So this frame lock is 8.5 inches overall with a 3.7 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade that has a silver bead blasted finish, primary bevel, and a flat ground tip. So basically compound grind here. 
blade is 0 0.16 inches thick and comes to about 59.61 on the HRC. Handle is a mixture, as we mentioned. This one has the black 6A4V titanium bolster of sorts and the Jewel J G10 scales on front and back. Yeah, no presentation side. It's all awesome. Backspacer, screws, pivot cap collar, and tip up right carry pocket clip are all 6A4V titanium. What? I know. It's Designed crazy. by Eric Ouches, this knife is deployed with the gemmed flipper stud. There it is. Comes with cleaning cloth and sticker. Get you some curves. We got the We Curvaceous at LandKnife.com. Starting at just two ninety-seven fifty. I'm gonna go first. Go ahead. Again. Yeah. I do like the look of this knife. The grind itself is very, I want to say, like aesthetically pleasing. It's nice. I know there's a purpose for the compound grind. I mean, they're trying to get more than one blade type into one blade for more uses. I just think it kind of makes it a little more difficult to sharpen. Not to mention at $300, $250, you, you just, you might want to use it, but most likely you're just going to collect it, show it off, that kind of thing. I really like the look though. Eric Oches did a great job. I mean, he's been designing knives for like nine years. He's self-taught, so he, he obviously knows what he's doing. I think he even did some carries for CRKT at some point, so. Overall, I like this folder. Great quality and design, and though it will cut, I'm not sure this is going to be a go out and use all day, every day knife. So, go ahead, see what do you think. I got the comp. All right. Well, 300 bucks. You better put some extra on the grind, throw some wheels on this, and we ride on down to the corner store. Pull it up the seam in the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, they're all like that anymore. But, I don't know. I'm kind of into this knife. I like the design of it. It's funny that you mentioned CRKT because it kind of reminds me of a CRKT no. knife. Don't Not quite the scimitar, dare. but we're getting close to the scimitar. Wait, are you arguing the, the scimitar or like the Persian one? Wasn't it called the scimitar? Did I mess it up again? What I is it called? The Persian? I thought it was called the Persian. It's the one I have with, with the, the blue and the handles? ivory. Yeah, I thought it was called the Persian. Maybe it's called the Persian. Is there a scimitar? Oh, yeah, it's cold steel, isn't it? I think that's cold Maybe. steel. Maybe. I get confused. I'm There's old. There's so many knives. What do you expect? It all gets lost in there. It's going to lead to our next folder on the table. Yeah. It's a VV Conspirator. Yep. So, four options on this knife. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Black Micarta, Green Micarta, Kuborishia wood. There it is. And dark green Micarta with Damascus steel. So, we have the black Micarta and the Damascus options to show you, just so you can get an idea, guys. All right, I'll take it from here. Awesome. Both folders are 8.11 inch overall with a 3.48 inch blade that is about 0.12 inch thick. Has a flat grind and jumping. jumping. Yes. She whispered it before I said it. The Micarta options all sport Nitro V, which I'm starting to take a liking to. With either gray or black stone wash finishes. The dark green Micarta, on the other hand, has a yes. black hand ducky rubbed Look Damascus steel that. blade. We're going to see this one later. Which comes to 58, 59, call it 60 on the HRC scale for those who are interested. Blades steel on snobs. all models. That's great. That's what they call themselves. They call themselves steel snobs. Steel snobs, yeah. Oh, okay. Can be deployed with the gym back flipper tab or the button lock. You could just do the the one hand thing. Yeah, but the little button lock and flip. Yeah. All operate on cage ceramic ball bearings and bear stainless steel tip up reversible pocket clips. Each comes with a pouch and a cloth. So you guys need to join your fellow conspirators by getting a conspirator from Elanknife.com. Starting at only $79.90. It just feels empty. It just feels empty. Uh -huh. Okay, so I monopolized the last two times. You can take a crack at it first. Oh, well, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. You're welcome. Speaking You know, privilege. I'm starting to like ahead. these knives a little more than automatics. Automatics come out the gate like bulls. Pop. You know, they're, they're just, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's they're... There's a reason why everybody wants to go to the running of the These bulls. things are so smooth. I love these things. To me, this is kind of... Kind of what? This is kind of my style right here. Okay. I mean, it's got the jimping. Mm -hmm. It's got the blade shape that I like. It doesn't have really a usable choil, but that's okay. I can live. It's got that little piece there mm -hmm. for my finger. It is nice. And the button lock, which is starting to take place of the uh, slide lock, axis lock, 
um, XR. XR lock, back and forth lock, up and down lock, pull it and hold it lock. I mean, starting to be number one on my list, I'm starting to think. Okay, well, I think it was very similar to the, like the Civini Cogent, you know. I agree. A couple of I tweaks agree. here and there. I actually prefer the Cogent simply because of the unique blade shape. Yeah. Oh, Wendy, better get to answering the phone. Boss well, you know, if you, if you talk louder, yeah. it doesn't cover up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought they could focus it more on this beautiful self than the phone ring. The phone is ringing. We, we got people calling day and night trying to get our knives. So. Next up on the line, that's number 69 calling now. We, we got 14 left. Yep. Go ahead. To get it now. Okay, right. along with the Jewel Jade and the Burgundy options that the Cogent comes in, which I like them more than these, I'm sorry. However, I do know that Civivi is trying to keep their your, their one gained advantage with the button lock. So I get why they went and did this one. I, I really do, and it's, it's nice. I mean, you're not going to regret getting it. I just don't know if it's something I would write Ma and Pa about. Well, also, they it's, can't do automatics. Nice. That's true, so, yeah. Unless they got... Mm, if they can sell them in China or not, but they can't import them here, so yeah, that's as close as they can come. All right, so with that, we're on to our next knife. The new USA made tour. Next knife tool. Yeah, bottle openers. Yeah. Let me show them to you real quick. So, real quick. They won't be here long. But first, guys, we need you to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as spread the word of Atlanta Knife as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Along with ringing that bell, right? Well, you know, ringing the bell, that's important. It is. But spreading the word yeah. is probably a little more we, important. We do want to do more content, more reviews, like the V-Knives tour, the Q&A videos. And to do that, we need people mm -hmm. like you guys, thank you, to support us. Because of you guys, we get to do even giveaways every week. So right now on both the YouTube and AK's blog, we are giving away the Max Ace swag bundle. Hat, shirt, and titanium folder. There it is. Yeah. So it's going to be for one more week. We decided to push it on. It's so good that everybody else is doing it too. Exactly. Yeah, until next Friday to be entered. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as head over to AK's blog and answer the AK trivia question. You'll be entered to win there too. Oh, Link so you mean to tell me that we have two also? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. All right. Okay. That means you're back to the table. So the Toronized Titanium Bottle Opener first. Yep. Comes in Cobalt Blue and Natural Gray. Show it to them. Whoop, whoop, look at that. So you can see we have both here the Cobalt Blue and then the Natural, the Gray. So made in San Diego, California, USA, this two. 0.5 inch lightweight 6 sail Vorfi titanium constructed tools perfect for any belt, key ring, pack, or bug out bag with high strength to weight ratio and top notch corrosion resistance. This little baby can pop the tops off your favorite beverages long after the sun's gone down. Why well, wait till the sun goes down? Put it on your keychain, do it in the car. All right. right. You oh, you know what? Also, don't forget our rings. Oh, we are, the rings these are things right? are awesome. We have sold so many of these. I happen to have those could've, on. Could've, let's um, wait just a second. I just want to talk about the bottle opener. Okay, let's then do we'll it. show them the rings. Okay. All right. So, go. What do you think? Like, what do you like about these? Well, I like about them. Yeah. They open beer. <laughs> Christ, what did you want me to say? I well, don't. I don't know. They have a unique design, and I love the fact that they kind of look like a little whistle that could. Oh, they open the beer. That That's could. what matters. They could have turned it into a whistle. Do you want to open beer? Do you want to open beer? Here you go. Make it. Look a little no reason to hide about people. We ain't open. Soda can't pops anymore. Soda pops, you know the old. I got you. Turn them in for ten cent. I mean, we ain't doing that. Tours little Beer. Logo there is cute. I like bottle openers, especially titanium ones. However, bottle opener isn't really like a super new concept. Like you said, mm. we've we've seen snail one from CRKT, the Picari multi tool from Kaiser, even some cool ones from like Boker EOS. But all of those were like stainless steel and aluminum. So then you had a couple titanium, uh, like the Best Tech Carabiner with the built-in bottle opener, or the yes. US Shark. Essie Rat Wrench. Even Civivi got in on the action with the Click Carbiner. They had like a flame titanium thing. It was so cool. Now this one in particular is small, but easy to attach. And it's $35 at AtlantaKnife.com. Wow, that's great. Is it the most unique? No. But it's titanium, and if you want something simple, but cool to open your bottle of beer, then this is your guy. Yep. And it's made in the USA. There's a bonus. That is that is a huge Drink bonus. your beer. Exactly. All right. Exactly. And you get the here, I'll take them. You go ahead box. and show the next one. Oh Look my at gosh. the box. The box. Oh my gosh, the box is adorable. 
could put other stuff in there. You could put the Damascus rings in there. Let's just show them that. Yeah, so here are the Damascus rings we mentioned. They, uh, we got what size is like? 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. Men, Nothing says. Man, Damascus. My boyfriend's a blacksmith. Like a Damascus ring. Amen. And Automatically also, gives you a beer. They come with the copper, and we also have uh, brass ones. So I have brass ones. That's great. All That's right. Great. What's next? We also have a new version of the Artisan Proponent. Oh, yes. I've been waiting on that a while. Whew. So I'm going to give you guys a quick close-up on this one. So nine, just under nine inches overall when fully deployed. It's got the four inch D2 blade with the mm. monster of jimping. Can be opened with, I don't even know if I call these thumb studs or not. More like freaking thumb barrels. I mean, come <laughs> on. It's also can be opened with the jimp flipper. So handle on this one is black G10 and the finish is black as well. So something new from them. Comes with a reversible gigantic pocket clip because you kind of need one for this and it's got the red pivot accents. We don't have many of these either. No, not many at all. So when they're gone, I don't even know if they're more or not. Nobody told me. All right. That's great. Ready? All right. So what we're going to do next? We're going to do the... Yep. All right. It's there. Next is the Wii Quixotic. Wii Quixotic. Three options for this one. There you go. You're too far, man. You're too far. You're too far, huh? It's okay, you gray. ready? Gray. Yep. Black and bronze. Ooh. There's also blue, isn't there? Okay, it's. Good lord. Gray, black, bronze, and blue. I'm sorry. It's all right. You know what? I know. It's been a long day. Okay. So nice. We've got the black bronze on the table at this time. Did I get that right? <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. Well, thank goodness I did something correct today. I know. It's, it's exhausting you know, being your co-worker. I have a kid that would quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> he would just All like... Right. I did it right. Thank throw God. his knife across the room and... 7.95 inch overall. Fully deployed. This framework is primed and ready to use. With a 3.45 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade that features a flat grind, black stone wash finish, and... Jimping. There it is. Yes. Jimping. Blade is open with a jimped flipper tab and runs smoothly wow. on cage strength ball bearings. Handle, screws, backspacer, lanyard hole, tip up carry pocket clip mm -hmm. are all 6AL4V titanium. Yep. Man, uh, is the box titanium? No, you Finally, wish, this so carry is so only 3.98 ounce. Designed by Wee Knife Team and is available with from Atlantic Knife for only 259. Wow, yep. I like the way you snap that to attention. So, high-end blades again this week, so a little higher on the price scale. We got the class going, that's all I can say. All right, a lot higher. Just a but come on, look at them. I mean, I like this one as well. Something about Wii, this one comes in blue, the blue titanium from Wii. I liked it on the Moat, the Subjugator, and the Sear, and I like it on this one as well. Yeah, I do too. Interesting area for the finger. I think I'd have to play around with it, maybe like use it, see if I really liked it. It's a little different, so I'll give them that. High quality as always. I just think Wii does too many knives in like the $250, $300 range. I know they're the, the higher price tier of the Wii Civivi model, but they're just a little too high for everybody to get one every week. Yeah, you can't. Nobody has a full Wii yeah. collection. I mean, it's like a gambling habit. You, gotta but, keep, yeah. you keep going back for more, and you don't really have more to go back with house always wins <laughs> but what if we were the house all right what do you think of this knife i mean you know just like all the other wii's i like it it's nice it's well done it always is well done if you wanted a wii and you wanted a nice one get this one It'd be great or that one if i hit the wall and there was a safe behind a land that <laughs> <laughs> com a bunch anyway. of wii's in it yeah yeah that would be nice i don't know probably got one over there with about I don't know, 4,000 Wii's in it. Alrighty. <sighs> Alright, so that leads us to the last knife on the table. No. It goes by so quickly, I know. So the newest version of the Tor Knives Field 2.0. Oh. Yeah, we just had to show you guys it because we picked the Field 2.0 as a number one fixed blade of 2021. Mm -hmm. So here it is in all its Made in America glory. Yeah, this is the one you can't get from Tor. Quick specs rundown for this one. It's a special version. It's the only Onyx model. Black ebony wood, fluted handle with a 0.035 inch copper liners. There we go. And 
It's got the 4.25 inch CPM 154 steel blade that comes in at about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale. Blade is 0 0.1875 inches thick with jimping. Comes with the leather wood grain sheath, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned I would marry <laughs> if marrying sheaths was state was legal in this state. That is a top-notch sheath. It is. I love this sheath so much. It's great. What do you think? Well, since I loved it the first time, <sighs> I'm not going to love it more this time. It, it hasn't gotten bad. It's cool. So. It's gorgeous. It is, and it? it is it's a nice, nice American-made fixed blade. I think it is still blade. one of my favorite fixed blades of all time. You know, unless Tor decides to get on my bad side like DJ. It's nice and thick. I don't think they're gonna get on your Let, bad let's side. Let's hope. Let's hope. They they they're getting, they're getting, they're getting there. They're getting kind of close. This is what happens when you don't send Jewel what you tell Jewel you'll send her. Whew. Okay, that was our final knife this time around. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring the bell so you can get access to our new content first and entered into our giveaways and they're only going to get better from here. Only like the Maxi Swag Bundle hat, t-shirt, and titanium folder for two lucky winners. A bundle for you YouTube winner and a bundle for the AK winner. There's a bundle for you and a bundle for you and a bundle for you. All right, you have okay. to answer the AK trivia question to be entered. Link is down below. All right. Favorite knife, go. You want me to go first? Yep. Well, I was set at no. what it was going to be. And then you... Now, no. since this one's not a part of it, this would be Artisan it right here. Our proponent is not in the right. I am going to go with this baby right here. What? Yeah, I love this thing. And I, I'm not big... I'm not I'm not quite in love with the... Uh, uh, what's the steel? Nitro-V. Nitro-V. But the Damascus... It is. It, the, oh, I'm not going to lie. It is nice. It, it, if you could just it's have nice. this in your hand. I mean, it's almost like you just barely... You just... Barely. barely, and barely touch it, maybe. and it flies open, and it's so smooth. I mean, you can't even feel it moving in there. I mean, it's amazing. I love this knife. Okay, well, my favorite is obviously going to be the Demco 80 20.5. Yeah, that one's nice also. I think I think I'm going to like the clip point one better. And you know what? I actually like the blackout, so I would go with the blackout on this one if I were. Oh, this is better for anybody. A thumb flick like that, and then a pullback, and yeah, let it lock. It works better when you're not under pressure. Under pressure. All right. So I, let's be honest, though. All of these, every single one, would be yeah. dwarfed in the hands of your mother-in-law. <sighs> How was your mother-in-law, by the way? I mean, we haven't heard about her since she returned to her own lair on the lower she's, level. She's still collecting souls. She is. That's um, great. Yeah, I heard she lost her fiddle again. I don't know. Good um, Lord. You know, she's about the same. I don't anybody. see her a whole lot. Now, she will be here. Um, Soon. Today, I think. Yeah, today. Because I have a child who's having a birthday. So, yeah. Got a... As my, <laughs> got a what? I was thinking about the lady from Bewitched. <laughs> That's great. You got to endure yourself in, you know. That's great. Okay, that does conclude this week's episode. As always... I'm C. And this is... Wow. Like that long pause for your name? Joel. Just Joel. <laughs> and we are... Signing off.